Once upon a time, we decided to sell things. Simple things, berries, wood, gold. Our words didn't matter much because we could point and sniff and smile and frown and nod and shake. Then we started to add value. Turn the berries into jam, the wood into tables and the gold into brooches. But people could still have a good look, tug at the loose bits, admire the sparkle, taste the difference. If they liked it, they bought it. If they didn't, they walked away. Great customer feedback. But now, now, we've dumped the jams and the tables and the trinkets and even the internal combustion engine and the hula hoop. Now we sell ideas and promises and services. And these things are invisible or expensive or unloved or homogenous or complicated or regulated or worse still, all of the above. This means we now have to find the words that can make the connection, forge the link, preserve the relationship because well, because the smell and the strength and the sparkle aren't there for anyone to point and sniff and smile at. And this looks like a real challenge and another chore, so it's no surprise we'd rather just carry on as if we were preserving raspberries or whittling wood, but stop! We're missing the special offer. To make better jam, we needed better berries, and better berries cost more money, but better words cost no more than really crappy words or the really middling ones that everyone else is using. So we can choose exactly the words we want and use them to describe our promise so people get it and want it and like us. Sold.